How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. I stream here doing Battlefield, Call of Duty, Destiny 2, Halo, and I do from time to time stream on Twitch at Douglas447. So make sure you guys uh, follow me there so you guys don't miss out on those streams. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the Trespasser Catalyst in Destiny 2. This is going to be a really quick guide. I hope it's helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions about the guide, let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Alright, so first of all, about the Trespasser weapon itself. You're going to have to get the weapon. Either you get the weapon itself by getting it with the paid seasonal pass or you can get it for free in the battle pass at level 35 so i want to let you guys know how you get the weapon itself so first of all the first step to this quest is you're going to have to come to the tower and talk to banshee here the amazing gunsmith and he's going to give you a quest called no trespassing and that is the first step that's going to launch the quest to get the catalyst itself for the trespasser sidearm which is right here. Step two is you're gonna to need to kill 50 fallen, get 50 kills with arc damage, which is really easy to do because the weapon itself is arc, so that kind of just goes hand in hand. Another thing you're gonna to have to do is get 50 precision kills, I'm sorry, 50 precision final blows using the weapons. So make sure you're getting those precision kills or there that's like the mid chest piece for the Vex or headshots on like Hive and Fallen. Um, I would say the best way to do this is to do strikes with Fallen in them. It doesn't have to be like random Vanguard strikes, just like do Vanguard strikes that are in the Cosmodrome, and that'll be the easiest and best way in order to get the Catalyst itself. The next thing, the third thing you're going to need to do is to complete activities. That can be anything from doing strikes in the Vanguard playlist. You could do some Gambit if you're wanting to or you could do some Crucible. Uh, I personally found that doing Gambit and Crucible wins really does help you progress a lot faster. And then if you do the Vanguard Nightfall Strikes, you'll even get faster progress that way. You do not have to get kills per se with the Trespasser weapon itself for step three for the quest, but if you do get kills with the Trespasser while you're doing Gambit, Crucible, or Vanguard activities, it'll progress the uh, progress bar a lot faster. Once you've completed step three and you have all of the completion required for step three to be finished, you just head right back here to the tower to Banshee 44 to receive the catalyst itself. So we're going to take a look at the catalyst actually and see what it actually does. So once you complete, and you're going to ask to get you know more kills with the trespasser itself, once you complete getting the trespasser catalyst, um, fully charged up, it will cause the Trespasser to have increased reloading after defeating a target greatly, increases the target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. So it's going to help you a lot with target acquisition and aim down sight speeds, which is really good and very helpful for the sidearm. It already has pretty good target acquisition and aim down sight speed, so it's just going to make it a lot more beefy. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. And uh, you guys have a great day. See you guys next one. Bye, guys.